So uh, I want to start by, I think the most important thing. I saw the movie last night and um, I realized that the theater that I was in must have been very um, dusty because it wasn't the movie that made me cry, it was the dust in the theater. Right, right. I think there needs to be a campaign about cleaning movie theaters before you show this. <laughs> well, I think people are finding it very emotional, but uh, I hope they also find it uplifting and entertaining. A hundred percent. But there should be a campaign about yeah, the dust. Yeah, Just yeah. want to throw that out there. Um, so Amanda loves dogs. I just did something with her. She's a big supporter of the Best Friends Animal Society. Um, and I discovered um, that, I mean, loves dogs. So what was it like on set with her? Because I well, would imagine there was a lot of her just stopping everything just to play with the dogs. Well, it's lucky she's such a brilliant actress because, as you say, no one loves dogs more than Amanda, but she had to play a character who isn't a big fan of dogs. So that was a real stretch for her, but she's so skillful, uh, she managed to make it work. They often say don't work with kids and don't work with animals, and you worked with both. Um, what does that present with a, like a, a filmmaking challenge when you have animals that, you know, they're going to do what they want to sure. do? Well, I must admit, I was terrified because in this film, there's a dog in every scene. And in most scenes, that dog has to do something very skillful and very technical. Uh, and as a director, you're at the mercy of all that. But uh, these dogs were uh, some of the best prepared actors I've ever worked with. They were very well trained and uh, they were a joy to work with. So you did not hit like 10 takes on something? Uh, very, very occasionally. I mean, more likely we did it all in one take. Uh, and we just sat by the, the, the camera thinking, my goodness, did we actually, did that just happen? It was perfect, you know? And so I have to say it was a very happy experience. I'm always obsessed with the editing process because it's the final rewrite. What did you learn when you got in the editing room with your footage uh, that maybe you were surprised by? That's a good question because this is a film that has a lot of elements. At the core of it, it's a family story, but it's also a man and dog story. And you know, Milo's character is a racing driver, so there's a lot of quite um, uh, ambitious racing footage. So no one really knew what it would be like to put it all together. But we had this secret source in this film. We had, obviously, every scene we had a dog to cut to. Uh, and then, moreover, we had the dog's voiceover uh, uh, performed by, uh, I'm excited to say, by Kevin Costner. And when we saw the film, we realized we wanted even more voiceover. So we added lines and added jokes for the, the Kevin Costner's voice. And so, in some ways, it was easier than other films I've edited because of the dog, because the voiceover and the shots of the dog gave us these, these bridges to cut uh, between. Sure. Did you end up doing any test screenings? And what did you learn from them that maybe uh, that impacted the finished film? Well, uh, we did do test screenings, uh, and they went very well, I was happy to say, because that's a nerve-wracking process, uh, part of the process. But. Uh, what I really loved was how much humour the audience found in the film. So you never know what's sure. going to land. And there were certain lines and certain moments that got these huge roars of laughter. And so that was exciting. And the other thing that was that even though it's an emotional roller coaster of the film, uh, it ends in a very uplifting, surprising way. And it was great to see how much the audience responded to that surprising, uh, positive ending. Totally. I have to stop. And again, I want to reiterate, campaign to clean theaters, get rid of the dust. Um, congrats on the movie. Thank you. Appreciate that. Cool. Um, thank you so much. And thank I, you. I hope it's a huge hit. Thank you. Thank you.